Hey guys, so I got this amazing Asian suit from Rashmina and when I received it I was like wow, love it, it's amazing but then I saw the scarf and I was like you're so beautiful but how do I wrap you because it's just so huge and thick. And generally when you wear scarves and shawls like this you end up looking like a human gobstopper and you end up tripping and tumbling down the stairs when if you walk because it's just so damn heavy. So yeah, I end up messing around with it for ages and eventually I came up with this and I know it kind of looks like my everyday scarf style but there is a hidden compartment that sort of sneaks away the extra fabric without it looking big because you know, look at me. It doesn't look poofy. It looks fine. It looks small and like compressed, but it doesn't make me want to, you know, pass out or fall down or anything like that. So I'm gonna count that as a win. I thought I'd share this video after all with you guys so you guys can learn too, because I know I got a few messages from some of you guys, you know, asking how to style shawls or like thick fabrics that you use like bought from stores, etc. etc. So I thought, you know what? Yes, I will put it in the video and share with you guys so you guys can learn how to do this too. So yeah, let's go over the stuff you need. Okay, so for this job, you'll need an unscarf or a bunny cap, and it is really important that you do have one of these. If not, you're gonna end up walking around like a leaning tower piece all day, and you really don't want that. You'll also need a long rectangle scarf, or a shawl, or some fabric, or a bed sheet if you wanna get a little bit crazy. And you'll need a safety pin, and three straight hijab pins. To be honest, you can use more straight hijab pins if you want to, but three generally does the trick. Okay, so you wanna start off with your bunny cap looking nice and sexy, and then you wanna get your scarf, or your fabric, or whatever it is that you're using, and if it is really big, do fold it in half, because mine is actually, wait, let me try and show you. Mine is like, it's ginormous. I know if you're folding a thick scarf in half, it makes it even thicker, but don't worry. I have found a way to bypass that in my new little system. Well, it's not really much of a system, but it works. So it's okay if you fold it in half. So I'm just gonna go back and fold that up. And once you've got that folded, you just wanna put it on your head, like so. And you wanna have one long side and one short side. And you sort of just fix it around your face. It doesn't have to be a huge difference, this is the difference between my sides. And you just want to safety pin it under the chin so it doesn't go, every go anywhere. If you want you can take the safety pin out afterwards if you're one of those people who don't like having safety pins under their chin, but make sure it's all secured first. And then once you've got that you want to get your short side and you just want to bring it over like so. Maybe add some folds if you want to. I'm happy with how it looks like right now and then you want to get this and you want to wrap it around once again so it kind of looks like you're making a turban so I'll just try and show you guys what it looks like oh yeah spinny chair I can spin okay so I'm just gonna spin around again I'm pretty sure you guys didn't even see anything the first time so spinning around looks like that this is how it's gonna be so once you've got that you're just gonna get this and you're gonna tuck it in to your bandana or your underscarf that you have see that's why it's important um, now if you want you can safety pin this in place but to be honest because the bandana's on, it pretty much just stays in there. So, like that. There we go. Now you want to get your long side, and you just want to bring it around, cover up that double chin if you have one. I have one sometimes. It makes me sad. Um, but yeah, you just want to bring that around like so. Da, 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 da. I'm just going to flatten it down a bit because I don't want it to be too big and poofy and now we're just going to secure it in place. So with our three pins we're going to put two here, we're going to put one here at the front and one just slightly further at the back and we're just going to pin this down. And you're pretty much almost done. If you don't like the fact that this is so far back all you have to do is bring it forward and pin it forward but I kind of like mine there so it sort of shows that little swishy bit. I a little bit of fanciness but it doesn't overdo it so. And there we go, we are all done with this look. So this is what it looks like from the front. This is what it looks like from the back, and then the side, and then the other side. I'm really having fun with the spinning chair. It's like the best thing I bought for my room. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much the whole look. I'll just stand up so you guys can see what it looks like when I stand up. So that's what it looks like. It gives me some coverage and has this piece here. Now if you do want more coverage, all you have to do is just sort of grab this and pin it there. And there you go, instantly more coverage, but I don't mind having it like that. But also if you don't like having a long piece, all you have to do is bring it around and pin it or tuck it in so it's all out the way and yeah guys that's all hijab draw i will be doing another one soon using like one of those you know small silky scarves that tend to come with camisas because those are like really really annoying to deal with so i'll be doing one with one of those soon so hopefully that will help you uh, but yeah i hope this one helped you if you guys liked it and you want me to do more hijab draws do give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments maybe share it using the share button below so other people can learn this too but yeah guys that's all video hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully it's helped you guys and yeah until next time bye so today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on this Valentine's Day hijab look which is super simple.